The CDC is sounding an alarm for parents and doctors. It wants more children to get vaccinated for the virus that causes cervical cancer and other cancers. The government says the number of vaccinations has leveled off in recent years, but only about a third of girls and far fewer boys are getting the full dose of the HPV vaccine. That news comes despite studies showing the vaccine has cut the infections in half. Dr. David Agus is a CBS News contributor. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Nora. Charlie. Good morning. We know the vaccine works. You've talked about the importance of it in terms of preventing cancer. So why are children not getting the vaccine? You know, it's amazing. So we've given over 50 million doses of this in this country, and we don't have any side effects. So why aren't people getting it? I think the surprising news from this study was it's because most doctors or many doctors aren't telling parents, listen, this is a vaccine we need to do. The data are there, it works. But, you know, just this week in Orange County, California, just south of here, there was a measles outbreak because parents didn't inoculate their children from measles because of fear of autism. There is fear about vaccines that's inappropriate and doctors aren't pushing hard enough. Well, I think also, too, a number of us were surprised that you actually need three doses of this HPV vaccine. And as you know, it's sometimes hard to get children back into the office three times. Yeah, but still, more than half of girls and a significant portion of boys aren't even getting one dose. Mm. But you're right. We need to make vaccines better, hopefully, in the future, so it does require just one shot instead of three. Yeah, I mean, the consequences are amazing. The CDC says, the CDC says getting the vaccine rate to 80% would mean 60,000 girls won't get cervical cancer. Yeah, look, when we look at that and the enormity of the benefit here, we need to have a call to action. We really need to come together and say this is something we have to do. You know, there are school districts in Virginia and Washington that require kids to have this vaccine, and they're the only ones in the country. We all remember back in 2007 when Governor Perry of Texas said we're going to require schools in Texas to make people have this vaccine, and there was a backlash saying this is permissive to sex if they get this vaccine. Well, in reality, it's permissive to cancer if they don't get the vaccine. Thank you, Dr. Agus. I mean, it's clear that this is a place where there needs to be more public information coming from doctors and everyone else. Mm.